Welcome to this video on the types of entity relationship diagrams. Conceptual, logical and physical entity relationship diagrams. My name is Andy Wicks and in this video I want to explain when each type is used and what it contains. Let's start at the beginning. There are several kinds of entity relationship diagrams and this confuses people but the concept of when to use which is reasonably easy. The problem comes in that some people use different terminology for these types of diagrams. Database people love that. Designing databases is much too easy, so you have to confuse people by using different terminology. You use the conceptual entity relationship diagram when planning and to get client feedback. This is the diagram that you take and show the client. That includes everything up to design stage four. If we were looking at the second-hand bookshop example, that would be everything up to and including putting in the primary keys. The logical entity relationship diagram is used when discussing the design amongst database professionals. So that's everything up to design stage six. Here, we're now able to put in all the database -y type stuff that we would leave out when discussing things with a client. And finally, the physical ERD is used when we want to create the database itself. And I'm calling that design stage 6 plus. I'll explain that bit in a moment when we get that far. The conceptual entity relationship diagram is used when starting the design and talking to people who are not database professionals. It should show the main entities though and it should show the links and cardinalities between the entities. But in this case, it's fine to have many-to-many's because we're not worrying about implementing at this stage. We're just worrying about whether the main things that the client wants can be found in here. It should show the primary keys for each entity. That's for us. And it should show any subclasses. Subclasses are the subject of a later video. So here's a conceptual ERD for the second-hand bookshop. Notice that author to title is many to many because one author can write many titles. One title could be written by many authors. And title to category is also many to many because one title could be of many categories and one category could have many titles associated with it. The fields are missing. All we've got are the primary keys, which of course have been underlined. So let's move on to the logical entity relationship diagram. You use this when the client has signed off on the conceptual design. They now agree with what you're doing and the project is now going to be discussed amongst database experts, of which you are of course one. All the fields should be added. All the many-to-many's should be resolved and the subclasses should be resolved. As discussed earlier, the subclasses come in a later video. But the field types, they may be missing. Because at this stage, we may want to change field types. We may want to move something from being text to numeric, or from being date to text. A logical ERD for the second-hand bookshop would look like this. All the field names have been added, and the many-to-many's have been resolved. The intersection entities are now there. So this is what we would get when we've discussed things with the database experts. And then we can move on to the physical entity relationship diagram. You use this when the design has been finalized. Everybody agrees this is a good design. And now the database is going to be created. This must include the data types and it must include the proper constraints. If you're using a good database design tool, you can get it to generate the SQL, which creates the tables. So for that, it needs all the data types and constraints. And then the designers could go on to use a data generator to fill the tables with dummy data. This is the six plus bit because the dummy data would be used to check that the fields are correct and to make sure that the SQL that we're going to put into the final version of the application that the client gets actually works. So we use dummy data just to make sure. 
So what does a physical ERD look like? It looks like this for the second-hand bookshop. Notice that the cardinalities are now correctly described with the words that describe the type of link. All the field types are in. And we've now got something that works both for creating the database and as a piece of documentation for those who come after us. So I hope this has helped. Just to recap quickly, a conceptual ERD is used when designing and chatting to a client. A logical ERD is used when we're discussing the design with other database experts. And the physical ERD is used when we want to create the database itself. Thank you for listening.